Friday night knife review. Hopefully this isn't too small or into frame or I'm being obnoxious by doing something like this. But anyhow, today what we have here is the is, is an Imperial Imp 15S. Imp stands for obviously Imperial. But anyhow, since uh, looking at the box is boring, um, let's go ahead and let's open it up. By the way, this knife was in the previous video, so if you want, if you're interested in the in this wild boar knife, go ahead and uh, check it out at the end of the video, or in the card up in the corner of the screen. But let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what we got here. There's a little bit of literature in here. Let's see here: sharp edge, cutting point, blah 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 blah, and instructions in Spanish, I think. Oh, different in several languages, actually. No, not in several languages. But anyhow. Ooh. That feels rough. <laughs> but anyhow, this is a Stockman knife. Hold it up closer to the camera so you can see. With the brown celluloid handle, that fits okay. The pin right there isn't exactly uh, feeling too hot. But let's go ahead and look at it. Let's look at the clip point knife. Right there. It says Imperial Knives on it. Stamped right into the thing. Model number stamped to the other side. There's, there's the clip point blade. You got your sheep's foot blade. Yeah, Jesus fucking Christ. And you got your spade blade that was really hard to get out. Like really asininely hard to get out. Just thinking here for a second. Open them all up. Or actually, close the clip point and see if this opens all the way up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So this looks like your granddaddy's pocket knife right here. But, don't know why that freaking spade blade was so hard to open. Maybe it needs to be broken in. Maybe it needs a little oil. Who knows? But, got this knife for about $8 off of uh, Knife Country USA. Put a link down in the description, as I always do. Um... If I had to guess on the knife blade material, um, it is straight imperial, so it's probably three CR seven, no, three three CR thirteen MOV. And does it feel like it has a blade on it, an edge on it? It feels like it has an edge on it. I'm not really sure how well it's going to cut, but anyhow, let's get to that. So a jump cut. So with clip point blade, let's see, does it have an edge on it? It has a better edge on it than it felt like it had. Now, uh, it's a really hard to open spade blade. Yeah. Pretty sharp. Now to the sheep's foot. That's one thing I like about so that's one thing I like about clip, about slip joint knives is that they make that clipping sound when you close them. Well, it's a good one. Well, that wasn't even a challenge for the spade blade, for, for the sheep's foot. That cut really well. Like, damn, son. That's the sharpest blade out of all of them. What if you could do the redneck knife test with this? No, I'm just taking skin off. I didn't, I didn't, there's no hair coming off of me. So they aren't laser sharp, but they... Well, not razor sharp. Not laser sharp. So not super sharp. But all in all, for what you get, for $8, you could do a lot worse than one of these little knives. I mean... I like it. That being said, it did only cost $8. But anyhow, I'm Spastastic. You're watching Friday Night Knife Reviews. If you've seen something you didn't like, you've seen something that I missed, or you've seen something that you wanted to let me know down in the comment section, go ahead and let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, maybe, uh, who knows, turn on all notifications. You never know. But anyhow, you're watching Friday Night Knife Review. I'm Spastastic. You're watching Spastastic TV, and thank you for watching.